What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to convert video files to audio files in an automated way using FFmpeg in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to extract the audio from video files in an automated way, how to convert video files to audio files in an automated way using FFmpeg and Python. And for this, of course, you need to have FFmpeg installed on your system. Now it is available for all operating systems. The installation process is a little bit different. On Windows, I think you can either download a basic installer uh, or you can install it using a package manager like Choco. I have a video on it if you wanna check it out. Uh, on Linux, you just use your default package manager. So on Debian based distributions, sudo apt install ffmpeg or on different distributions, uh, pacman or DNF or whatever. And on Mac, I think it's quite similar. You have probably some package manager that you can use to install ffmpeg. It is available for all operating systems. Now, once you have ffmpeg installed, you can use it directly in the command line. So it's essentially a tool that allows you to uh, do a lot of different things with uh, audio files, with image files, with video files, and uh, we can just use ffmpeg here in the command line. We can say, okay, the input is some video.mp4. Then I want to remove the video. I want to set a specific audio codec and a bunch of different uh, flags. So you can just go and type ffmpeg help, or you can say tldr if you have the tool ffmpeg. Uh, to see what you can basically do with it. But all of this stuff that we can do in the command line, we can also do in Python using a module called subprocess. So we can just call the subprocess module to utilize FFmpeg via Python uh, in order to automate it so that you don't have to write some uh, fancy shell scripts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new Python file, main.py. And we're going to convert this video here, which is just one of my videos. Um, let me just open this in the uh, file explorer here. Uh, there you go. This is basically what is going on guys. Welcome to just an introduction uh, for one of my videos. And we're going to take that and we're going to extract the audio. We're going to convert it to an MP3 file uh, in Python using FFmpeg. So the first thing we want to do is we want to import the subprocess module, and then we want to define a function, convert to MP3, or maybe convert video to MP3, not four. We want to have an input file and an output file. Now, all we want to do now is we want to run an FFmpeg command. So we're going to use subprocess to define what this FM, uh, FFmpeg command is going to look like. We're going to then run it and we're going to just uh, coordinate this with Python. So it's very trivial, very simple, but very useful if you have to batch process a lot of videos or audio files or images or something like that. So we're going to say here ffmpeg underscore command or cmd equals, and then we're going to pass a list and uh, or we're going to create a list and this list is going to have the respective keywords. The first one, obviously ffmpeg itself. The second one is going to be dash i followed by an input file. So the file name of the video, in our case, video.mov. Then we're going to say dash vn to remove the video. So to disable the video. Then we're going to say dash a codec, and we're going to choose uh, an audio codec, in my case here, lip mp3 lame, like this. Then we're going to define uh, the bitrate. I'm not an audio engineer. Those are just some default values that are reasonable to use. Um, so this is the bitrate now, 192K, so 192,000. Um, then we're going to define the sampling rate, which is going to be 44,100. I think it's Hertz, not sure. Um, and then we're going to just say dash Y to overwrite files if they're already existing. And then we're going to finally just provide the output file. So this is the FFmpeg command. We can also just run it here uh, in the command line. We don't have to use Python for that, but this function now can be called um, on different input files. So we can say something like, uh, for example, import OS, and then we can say for a file in 
os.list directory and then we can just go through all the files and call this function all the files with a different output file we can just automate this in a very efficient way we don't have to constantly re-execute this command with different files so that is that uh what we're going to do now is we're going to say uh still in that function sorry this is just the definition we need to run this command <clears throat> sorry we need to run this command uh sub process dot run we want to pass this ffmpeg command here we want to say check equals true and we're going to catch an exception which is going to be the sub process dot called process error as e and we're going to print here in case that this does not work in case it fails uh, we're going to say conversion failed like this and otherwise we want to say successfully converted and that is basically all of the magic we now only need to call this so we're going to say here convert video to mp3 video.mov audio.mp3 and now I can run this here and you can see it worked so now I have the audio file I can open it up in files what is going on guys welcome back there you go you hear it worked and of course I can run this also in the command line so I can move to um to this directory here and I can say just python3 main py and you can see successfully convert it. And this is all the FFmpeg output. Now, this right now as a single script is just this, is nothing else but running this command. There's nothing fancy about this. So I can just go ahead and I can just type the same command, FFmpeg-i video.mov-vn-a codec um, lip mp3 lame dash a b 192 k dash a r 44100 dash y and then audio dot mp3 this is the exact same process but the difference is i can automate this now so i can now go ahead and i can iterate over files so if i have multiple files here uh, maybe even though it's always the same file we can just copy this uh, what did i do here no copy this paste this paste this paste this and maybe we can call those um, video two, then video three and video four. And then we can use those, uh, we, we can automate this function. So we can say something like for enumerate, <clears throat> for enumerate, or actually for I file name in enumerate os dot list directory and hopefully I can just pick the current path here without a problem um, let me just see what the output is for this one before we do anything else there you go seems to work and now we can say if file name dot ends with dot mov we want to take it and we want to call the function convert video to mp3 and we're going to then just say uh, file name is the input and the output is going to be audio let's use an f string <coughs> audio and then we want to have uh, i dot mp3 something like this and uh that should actually be it so if i run this now you can see it creates all these audio files here. Um, so this is quite useful. Of course, you can make it more intelligent, not just depend some enumeration here, but uh, put some more thought into the uh, file name. But this is how you can automate simple FFmpeg commands. And you can use this, of course, for a bunch of different use cases with FFmpeg. You can combine images to a video, to a GIF. You can take a GIF, turn it into a video, take a video, turn it into a GIF. You can extract audio. You can uh, do a bunch of different things. You can change codecs. You can uh, do a lot of different things. And you can all you can do all of this in Python. And of course, you can do all of this in Python for every tool. It doesn't have to be FFmpeg. You can just automate processes in general using this subprocess module. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.